Hey, it's Dave and I here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. We're setting up the uh, uh, 25.4. We're holding to 26. 51. 62. 93. Here's the 130 move. We went up to the pivot point and then traded off of it. Um, Double check that. That looks right. All right, we're good. Uh, off the pivot, we uh, made a significant move off the low here, went down below S2. And this is 60 minute uh, uh, that you're looking at right now. And right around what 10 o'clock mark, we started moving up. A significant move from 12 to 1. And then we're trading, here's the uh, 1 to 2, excuse me, 1 o'clock, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, and now we're trading the 1 to 2. So this move starts around 11, 11 to 12, right? 11 to 12 move, 12 to 1, and this is 1 to 2. So uh, significant move, and obviously see here, hopefully you can see it with me. made it up to pivot and then traded off of it. So there might be an opportunity here. Wanted to get involved early and I did. Uh, I only picked up six ticks though on the trade and I got out with a little bit of a win. It came down just a little bit uh, and then it moved up quickly in between the 1 to 130 mark. So I wanted out, 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 out. I caught well, I think I caught this move right in here. Um, one of these moves right in here. It was like 1 to 115. Caught a little bit of a down move and then you see it moved up uh, at to the 130 mark. It's not it's making a move back up right now as we're speaking. Going back, maybe going back to pivot here. <clears throat> Pretty strong up move right now. We're trading into. I like to attempt it on here. I like to take it on. Order submitted. Order filled. We'll look at the, uh, so if it gets above pivot plus 10, that'll be 105.39. I think we have a retracement. If there's going to be a retracement, it's going to happen soon. Otherwise, I mean, this is going to the moon. See if we can get one in here without it. Uh, should set just Order one. submitted. Oh, it worked that time. All right, let's lock in five if we can. Order submitted. Yeah, we got them all set up and roll, ready to rock and roll. See if we can make it move. Down through the 105 area. Maybe a little bit lower. 105.11. What are we hunting for? Maybe we get some moves today on a Monday. Uh, looking for 104.49 and 104.18. Should be what our targets are. 49.18. Yeah, we're there. Order submitted. Order canceled. I know every time you hear that, right? <laughs> 105.03 would be good. Order submitted. Order canceled.
short one. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to work out right now. No, it didn't. Went through it. All right, that was weird. Stop lock, stop loss market. Let's just close it. Order up. canceled. Yeah, there we go. Up 19 ticks right now. Uh, I don't trust it now. I think we're going to go above pivot. I'm not sure how far we'll go above pivot, but uh, we're going to stand aside right now. It looks like we've got some more up to go right now. Remember, uh, Friday was a, a nasty down day, down 900 ticks in the Dow. So, let's think about Tuesday turnaround. Is it going to be a Monday turnaround? Certainly trying to look like it right now. Might get some movement between um, 2 to 2.30. Really believe they're going to get above pivot right now. Of course, watch me be wrong as always. <laughs> Not as always, just like you say something and the exact opposite happens. So like a reverse barometer, right? I took my shot at it. I believe I took my best shot at it. And it came back. Um, I really feel we're going to test this up here. We're going to test the pivot point again. Regardless, I'm going to pause here. We're going to sit down with our... Uh, we got 19 ticks right now. I'm going to pause and then look and see what we see a little bit later. I'm going to write down some numbers here. We've got a new high number. We're at, uh, at one point. What do we got going on right here? Let's just show this. 49,645. High of 52,145. Current balance, roughly at 51,845, right? Does that sound right? No, it's 52,011. 52,011. And we've got 49,645. Threshold. All right. Pause. We'll take a look in a little bit later. All right, we're about 10 minutes till 2. really want to look at the 2 to 205 area or closer to 2 mark. It's 10 minutes away. Uh, pivot point looks really tempting to get above. Uh, might take a trade on here in a second, trying it out at above pivot. If we spike above it, I'm looking for the market to stay below uh, roughly 105.39.44 range right now. All right, I'm going to pause. If we get up there, I'll, I'll come back on. And we zoom through there. Look at that. Dangerous one to take on right now. But it's worth it. It's worth trying it Order out. Order filled. So we can get a move back towards pivot. Get in, get out. We've got one finger down here on the close button. If we get a move against us, I want out. Looks like I'll close out around 105.73 right now. All 
Let's right, see if we can get in here. Order submitted. Order submitted. Take a shot at it here against the high. One oh five seventy was the high of this upswing. Okay, we're going to move to sixty one on at least one. Order submitted. Order canceled. All right, let's grab 10 ticks while it's available. Order submitted. Order canceled. Looking at 51 right now. Order canceled. Looking for a move back towards pivot. Get as much as we can get. Really don't want to see 105.49 now. Maybe we can get enough a move here and get above the 30, 53,000 mark here on this trade and be done. All right, 49. We'll go 47. Order canceled. Now ah, we're down with to one. Order canceled. All right, that's canceled. all right. We got rid of one right there. That's fine. Keep the other second at 51. We're at total PL is 700 right now. If I get rid of them. What do we get here? 52.5. I need another 500 from here. So I need about 104.90. Let's see what we got going on here on the downside. It's going to be close if we can get it. 104.74. Yeah, 104.74 should get us to the 53,000 mark. Let's see if we can get it. Should be about 600 plus right now if we get out 60 ticks. Took a shot going back towards pivot. I think we're on eight trades now. Yeah, eight trades. We were at plus 19 ticks before. Order canceled. We're out. Plus 63 ticks. And we're within uh, 550, 560 of 53 now. Not bad. Uh, plus 63 ticks on eight trades. I like what I'm seeing right now. Let's bring over the, uh, see where we are standing now. So at one point we were at 52, 52, 585, count high. Count balance at 52443, right? 443. And da, 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 da. auto liquidates 50085. I think that stops at 50,100, right? Going up. Something like that. I'm not sure. 50,085, 52,585. Difference between 52,44, 52, 4443 minus 50,085, or 2358 difference. Swing, threshold swing. 
That could have been a nice trade. That could have went down right there. Why didn't it? <laughs> oh, could make my life a lot easier. Move to 53,000 be done. Oh, well. So I'm at 52443.48 according to the to the uh, what you call it here, and this was day six, right? Day six plus 63 ticks overall right now. Let's pause for station identification purposes. Now let's just pause. I don't know if I'll take any more trades today. If I do, we'll we'll be back. If not, I'll uh, wrap up at 2:30. Be back. All right, so it made a move down right at the 204 mark, um, 205 roughly. So 2 o'clock, it made a new high, and it sold off right here, and then it finally moved below pivot. All right, let's keep, keep our eyes on it. I'm still at 63 ticks right now. I'm quite satisfied where I am right now. Oh, I just had the guts to take it on. A nice red bar there after we went up. Now we've kind of moved right back into... back into this zone maybe we can get as low as right here might be some play in here how much am I willing to give back that's the question there's 53,000 on the board order filled there's a good shot right there order filled Got one eye on 53,000 now. Try to get above it. Need about um, like $700 move would do it. It's going against us right now though. Get this off the screen. Two eleven right now. Two 
if we can get a move back down to 104.57 is kind of the goal right now. I'd like to be able to Order submitted. Order submitted. Order canceled. Order canceled. Okay, I'm short one. I'm afraid to hit that button now. Order submitted. Order submitted. Order canceled. Order canceled. Watching this right here. All right, I want to move to 93 if I can. Actually, I want to move it a lot closer. 52.857 right now. Order canceled. Order canceled. Ah, oh, shit, took me out again. Fuck. <sighs> All right, well, that's all right. Uh, don't mean to do that, but it does it. I'm trying to push that middle button, and it's very sensitive. That's not a bad thing to get out while it's there. Plus 99 ticks now. Two hundred and five away. Nine ticks on, uh, I believe that's ten trades now. Yeah, ten. Now that should fifty three six fifty thousand three six eight threshold value. 52.868 was our high, and we got 52.795. Not bad. Fifty-two eight six eight account balance high. Trailing did move behind that at 53.68 threshold and we're sitting at 52795 right yeah 52795 hmm it's like a good idea to get out I've been out no matter what now I don't know maybe uh, that's the way to trade it get in get out <laughs> Uh, I like to have a trailer, but I'm having a hard time with the uh, the middle button right here. This this mouse middle button, I'm having a hard time with it because the mouse middle button should put up the SLM trade. And um, if you click it, I'm not sure if I click it fast or click it hard or click it too soft. I just haven't figured it out yet. Missions around 40 bucks on 10 trades and almost a thousand dollars of profit uh, and getting closer ever so closer to moving on to um, the PA account again and we're gonna be good I'm gonna be good at plus 99 ticks I'm 205 away 
from running. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to hold on plus 99 ticks. I'm done. 216. I'll be back at the 230 mark to wrap up. All right, let's wrap this. Let's wrap this puppy up. Uh, look at that. Move into close. All the way back. Uh, let's measure this high right there. It was uh, 105.71. And then let's look at our spreadsheet to look where 1 and 1.5p would have been from there. Brings it in at 104.78. Average range of movement coming back down off of nine days of looking at it. Uh, off the high, brings it back to 104.78. How far did we get today? We went down as low as... Let's go on this bar right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Went to 104.47. So look at this. Not to toot my horn or anything, but what does that say right there? 104.47. That would have been exactly a 2p move down. One and a half is the average range of movement on a good trading day that you're looking for. It went down 2p today. Not bad. 2p moved down. That's what we were writing down, that average range of movement. So it definitely was able to go 1.5 from high to down on the retracement trade. So that held. It was 93 ticks, but it did go 125 roughly. We're just marking that for Monday information right now. So we hope we can carry that forward into the rest of the week this week. Alrighty then. So let's get that off the screen. I'm done. I'm going to take my 99 ticks. <laughs> 999. I always look at it ticks, not dollar amount, by the way. it's a, um, I, I've done that since I can't remember when, but I always look at it as ticks as, a, as opposed to dollars. It just makes it easier to uh, for it to be a trader. When you're not thinking in dollars and you're losing dollars, you're losing ticks. And at the end of the day, you're losing ticks and you try not. And then eventually, obviously, you're trying to trick your mind a little bit to uh, to know that, you know, you know it's dollars, obviously. But you keep your mind in the tick realm until you convert that over later in the trading session, usually after you're done. So it looks like we made a move all the way back to pivot right at the 230 mark. Right as the crude oil open, former open outcry is closing up here at the 2.30 mark. Uh, anything else I want to share with you today? Not really. So we were able to pull out uh, as a recap. I guess you know, for the recap. Uh, we were able to grab 99 ticks a day off of 10 trades. Recapping uh, 99 ticks, 190 bucks. Uh, goal of this uh, Apex funding trader, Apex trader funding account, is to get above 53,000. You can do it within 10, or you can do it longer than 10 days, but 10 days is your goal. Today was day number six for me. EA day six evaluation account day six. So seven, eight, nine, ten. This rest this week would bring me to 10 days. So what does that bring me into the sixth of May? Today was May second. So today was Monday, May 2nd, 2022, and Friday would be May 6th. So that would bring me to 10 trading days. Hopefully we can get, knock it out tomorrow and then just do a little bit of a two-tick, five-tick thing uh, and then move into the PA account again. And this time stay in the PA account, not blow it. So that's the overall goal. Overall, that's what I'm trying to do. All right, 30 minutes of talking, 30 minutes of trading. Let's wrap it up. We're done. I hope you had a great day as well today. Today was kind of uh, just pick off some highs and, and try to counter trend them down. I was able to catch, uh, I guess we need to move this. Let's blow this up a little bit. I was able to catch this move right in. Well, I didn't actually catch that one, did I? I caught this move coming down. And I missed that one, but then I caught it here, coming back down again. 
or I caught it here, one or the other. I think I caught it here. I don't know. It's one of those two. Might have been at 220 right here. Caught that move right there. I think that's the two. I think I've caught this move right here based on that. And then you look back, I caught that other one at the beginning of the trade or beginning of the day. So I took one on there, roughly about the 130 mark again. I believe was my opening trade salvo. And I think the last one was about 10 minutes till uh, 2.30, to 20 after 2. And took on, uh, I think, this one right here. It's kind of hard to remember uh, until you uh, record your trading day and go back and review it. I do it every day. I review my trading day every day. Highly recommend that you do that as well. I have Camtasia Studio. I've had it for many years. Uh, and then I just record my session. You don't have to record your face. Just record your screen and then review your trading day. See where you can improve upon. I've been doing it for many, many years. All right. Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in that next video that I put